and welcome back friends it's time for another video from my series star trek the official starships collection in which i talk about different models from eagle models from their series star trek the official starships collection and this time i'm going to talk about the last release from the year 2016 from december and it's issue 88 the vach class i hope i pronounce it correctly but Probably I didn't, but I don't really care. This is what you receive if you buy this one. It contains one magazine and one box with the model. Now, <coughs> this is the box itself and here you can read the standard warning that this is a collector's model. And it's not designed or intended for play by children under 14 years of age in different languages. Here you can see the Star Trek logo. This is the information trademark and copyright CBS Studios Incorporated 2016. And on this side you can see the logos of the other four TV shows. Voyager, Deep Space Nine. Enterprise and of course the next generation. Okay, this is the part of the video in which I take the model out of the box. And here you can see this is a very interesting design. If you know all Star Trek TV shows, you probably know that this is from the TV show Enterprise. And there is a surprising amount of detail on the surface of this little model. Which is always a good thing. The shape is a bit unusual, but it's based on a previous Vulcan ship design. I'm not really sure what else are these things on the sides, if they're supposed to be letters or just some ornaments. The deflector is deep inside. Now I wasn't sure if this is just some damage, but it looks like it's supposed to be there because it's quite symmetrical now here you can see some details about the ship So I'm using this little thing for better manipulation. Now some details from this side. some details from the back and last but not least some details from the front All of these details can be found inside the magazine. We will take a closer look at the magazine in a few moments.
and now it's time to put all the pieces together here you can see again it's diva class trademark and copyright 2016 cbs studios incorporated as you surely know cbs is the owner of the whole star trek franchise so this is how the thing looks like if you decide to have it on display So, an interesting little ship from Enterprise, or Star Trek Enterprise, if you want. Now, this is all for the model, so it's time to take a closer look at the magazine. Here you can see it's a transport ship from the 22nd century, capable of uh, warp 4. If you compare the picture with the model, it looks very similar which is always a good sign. The magazine starts with uh, the table of content and the specification of the ship. Again, it's a transport ship from the 22nd century capable of warp 4. Now, on these two pages you can see a wonderful new CGI picture of the ship and an article about the ship itself from the in-universe point of view. Pictures from uh, the TV show Enterprise, from the episode in which you could see this ship. Now on these two pages you can see the detailed information which I have shown you a few minutes ago. Now there are some small color differences if you take a closer look between the pictures and the actual model S which I would prefer if the model always looked exactly the same as the pictures Now, designing the Bach class. It's a ship designed by Dan Curry, who worked on all of the Star Trek TV shows uh, between Next Generation and Enterprise. And unfortunately, wasn't even asked to do Discovery, which is a huge shame. An article about the Vulcans in the 22nd century. If you have watched Enterprise, the Vulcans were much different than in the original series or the 24th century TV shows, which many fans hated. More pictures from Enterprise, from the planet Vulcan. This one looks very similar to Star Trek The Motion Picture, the Director's Edition. The statues. Here basically you can read about the whole history of Vulcans as we have seen it in Enterprise. And on screen appearances of the ship was the episode Fusion from Star Trek Enterprise. Now the 
next issue was uh, issue 89 it was the enterprise j and usually here i would say that uh, i'm going to do a video about this ship next week but i have decided to speed it up so from now on you will see two episodes uh, each week because I want to get to the current releases as fast as possible. Thank you very much for watching if you have managed to see it until this point. Uh, if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button and feel free to watch any of the other videos on my channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time, probably tomorrow. Bye.